It's a Tuesday night. I just came home from a really long day of school and extracurricular activities and the second I walked through my bedroom door, I just knew I wanted to make a video to talk to you guys and I mean really talk to you guys about some of the things I've been feeling, the stress I've been under lately in hopes that maybe you can relate to this so you don't feel alone or maybe you'll even learn something from this video and this video is completely unscripted and I'm not quite sure where this video will go, what exactly I'll be talking about, what I do know is that I've been feeling some things, so I wanted to talk to you guys about them. So one thing I've realized is that stress can do a lot of things to people. And I mean, this isn't the first time I've ever been stressed out. By no means has this been the first time I've been actually stressed out about things. But the one thing I've noticed is that it's a first time for many people to experience something that's greater than themselves, essentially. What stress does to people is that it forces them to say things that they don't necessarily mean. Sometimes I've been hearing people say not so nice things to each other and it's not necessarily because that they feel this way about people but it's because they're so stressed out about what they're doing and their lives that they feel the need to take it out on others. As someone who has been under a lot of stress lately, I can say that I have seen it not only in myself unfortunately but in other people and my friends and my peers and my classmates that Stress can really do a lot of bad things to people. I've been trying to take care of myself and because I know, I know that during this time of the year, especially for seniors going through um, the college application process, it's so important to take care of yourself because you can often lose sight of your health, your mental health, your physical health, everything just because you have so much work to do that health and everything else becomes a second and third or even fourth priority which is terrible and honestly with my friends too I see it all the time I see my friends saying oh I just skipped lunch and breakfast all together I don't even think I ate anything today besides a granola bar and these excuses just go on and onward and we are forgetting to take care of ourselves and to stay, take a step back and realize that not all academics are as important as health I mean not not all no academic no work that you have to do is more important than taking care of yourself first and really making sure that you are your own first priority aside from everyone else aside from any paper that you have due in the next day or in the next period it's so important to take care of yourself and take a step back and realize that you know what sometimes it's okay to have a mental health day to yourself sometimes it's okay to feel things even if you don't want to feel things and Honestly, I feel like so many people have been doing this acting as if everything's okay, acting as if they have their entire lives together. And oftentimes, I feel like other people do have their lives more together than I do, or um, some people think that way the other way around about other people. So it's all, it's so important to realize that everyone is going through the exact same things that you are, even if they're not saying that they are. No one has perfect grades, no one has perfect attendance or a perfect, um, anything really no one is perfect by any means and we all have to realize this and accept this because it's the truth and it is so evident and oftentimes we like to cover it up we like to think that no 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 perfection is attainable and that I can attain this if I really try hard enough but sometimes perfection is just a mere idea that we all like to believe we have and if you are say jealous or envious of something that someone has or of just someone as a whole it's important to realize that you are not that person and that you shouldn't take time out of your day to compare yourself to other people because we are all different and that's what makes us all so wonderfully and unique. I think it's so important that we shouldn't, although it's nice to sometimes let it all out and blame others for things and really um, let your anger get the best of you and compare yourself to people or compare other people to other people and their lives and what they're doing on the weekends and whatnot, it's important to take a step back and realize that Yes, although it's great to sometimes talk about things that aren't about yourself because that's what's easiest to do for some people, it's important to realize that if that means, if your happiness means you rely on damaging the reputations or damaging other people's self-esteem and what they like to do, then you should find something else to do because nothing is worth damaging someone else's confidence, damaging someone else's self-worth because honestly we are all worth so much more than just grades, than just extracurricular activities, than just what they do on the weekends. We are worth so much more than what other people think that we are and that your opinion, that someone else's opinion is not what you are worth. You are worth what you think you are worth. You are worth 
beyond what you could possibly imagine and it is so important to own up to who you are and what you believe in and what you value and that if you ever feel as though you are trading or compromising your happiness for something else you really shouldn't because if something makes you happy then you should by all means go out of your way to make sure that you always have that happiness and that you always are having moments out of your day where you're reflecting on things that make you happy and that make that you're proud of doing and accomplishing main idea that i want you all to take from this video if you just take one thing is that it's important to never lose sight of who you are because you are worth so much more than someone else's opinion of you you are worth so much more than what you may currently think you are worth you shouldn't try to compare yourself to other people just because you feel that that's the best way of evaluating what your life is like right now. Focus on yourself and at you as an individual, not you as your friend group, not you as someone in your high school or in the universe, but you as you. And I hope that you got something out of this video more than just me rambling on about how I've been feeling lately. Talk to you guys in my next video. Please make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more sit down videos or you wanna just see more videos of me talking. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter if you're into social media like that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.